thing beat. First of all, this door has so much sag in it, we knew that. So into the hinges, check this out, the door panel. It's all loose. Alright, also we got, we got handle play. We got this. Maybe we gotta fix some shit on this. Door panel has to come off. Not sure how the switch cover comes off. 7mm screw over there. Take this off. Another screw. There's a clip over here. I think that's all there is. I think this can stay. Pop this clip out. Instead of putting a metal tool next to it, I put plastic. And I put metal over it. Like I sandwich it like this. And then pry. Works better. Alright. Uh, let's get this out. Is that Torx? Took the corner piece off. I'm not working on a switch cover. There is a screw behind here. It should just pull off, but I think it's just like the heat is just holding on. I've seen a lot of these broken over here. I don't know. On my junk car days. And it's very, very tight that clip. It's not coming off for some reason. I don't want to break it. Just to fix this. If it breaks, it breaks. I have to get another one. I see there's two clips. There's one clip in the back. Now they changed it. The older ones used to have a screw over here. This one doesn't. You take out that little bezel. It's coming right now. I got roaches coming out of this panel. I ain't bullshitting when I tell you that. Now we can access the switch from the back. Excellent. They improved it, I guess. Yeah, the other ones used to have a screw over there. In the early ones. So keep that in mind. And you will break this switch because there is a screw over there instead of a clip. So it's good to know. Yeah, it is a little crack, so we have to plastic weld that, no big deal. But we have the things labeled black, green, blue, all the same connector. Then you have black and you have this weird ass one over here with a little safety thing on it. We'll push down. Slide this back. It comes out. That's weird. Let's go repair this. It's not so bad. And then the light, you can just pull it out. There's two little tabs, or there's a little pull tab over here. Stick a screwdriver in there and pry up and pull out it out. So that works. At least this thing is off. Always make sure your vehicle is unlocked. Or just have the keys, you know. Because sometimes when you screw it there, obviously you'll lock the door. This is actually popped off. Look at that. That explains why the door sounded all shitty. Uh, much better, see? Nice positive thing. It wasn't like that before. It was all fucked up. Wow, that's an improvement right there. Um, Alright, let's try to plastic weld that. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those trucks have broken off um, covers, and you can see why. People just monkey it on, and they break the shit. See, look, I stressed it a little bit, just prying on it. So, I w didn't expect that. So leave that last and then put the door panel back on and then screw with the switch. So let's go play. Oh my god, look at the mold. That's gross. Pollen, mold, rot. Back of your door panel you'll notice that it has a couple screws for the um, armrest. Tighten those up. And as you see this mount over here it was glued and it must have just broken off over time. So real, real glue that. Or it cracked, I went on the other. Let's put some hot glue on it. Be a little better. Just plastic welded that back on. Looks pretty good. It wasn't fully broken, but that'll give it a little strength it needed. Let's go easy when you thread it back in. Let's go fix this door panel now. I was gonna plastic weld it, but I'll just hot glue it. Best would be some kind of strong adhesive or an epoxy, which I don't have. The bad thing about hot glue in this climate is that it's very, very hot, so obviously the hot glue turns into mush. But, it is what it is. That was broken for a long time though, I know, because it always had that little bit of play up here, it wasn't right. Just never noticed it. This is, I don't know what kind of plastic this is, it even says. This one it was made, 125. Truck was built, it's like a couple days later. 2006. Light neutral. Oh my. Probably made in uh, Canada, Ontario, Oshawa. Put all that shit in there. Yeah, there are roaches in here, everything is gross. It's very dirty. That's the color it's supposed to be in the bottom. It's very, very faded. I could 
sent paint it too today, but nah. All right, we hot glued that. We didn't go crazy all around it, but I just noticed that this piece actually would come off if you want it to. It's slotted, but we're not screwing with it. But it's on there much better than it was before. I'll give it that. Much better. And hot glue has a little gif. All right, uh, seems like every time I take a door panel off, it looks like it's gonna rain. I don't know why. Uh, what else were we gonna do? It might be time to put this back on. Oh yeah, we're gonna reposition this and retighten it. All this stuff gets loose. Lubricate all your door lock rods. See, like, as you said before, this one was popped out and it sounded like crap. You know, it sounds mint. Kind of like when I was body shop professionals didn't hook up the uh, door lock rods in my white truck when I painted the side. All this you should really clean out. Just do a nice thorough job, you know, if you care about your vehicle. If not, just be an animal. Um, yeah, alright, we're probably almost ready to put this back on. And we have no more loose speaker grill and no loose door panel. If we painted the door panel, it'd be 100%, but we're not doing that, even though we do have the sem paint. It's all dirty because the landscapers do this. It is blow all this shit in your car. Look at it. Put this in first and tighten that screw and it is mint this thing now, so tight, way better than what was before because this was loose, this was loose, everything was loose. Remember to put green in if you have the memory seats, it actually goes into the control and then the wires get transferred to a different wiring harness. Pretty weird design. 1999 design. This door is like this so hard to open with those bed pins. We have to work on that. But pretty clean. We tighten that screw over there with the door handle. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Too bad we're going to paint it so it'll be that color instead of this color. See the transition. I was thinking about it. I was going to try to tighten up this window, but see what the problem is? Just the sun beat the shit out of the, uh, the window run. You know, it's fine when you put pressure on it. So, this, the sun killed it. Same like the other truck, but I have new ones. I should get new ones for this. Probably a lot of money. It's pretty tricky, but you can plug in all those wires. And the door just cracked open, which I just did. Doing it one handily with a camera. The other hand, I think we just locked the door again. This guy up here. You gotta grab those hooks. The door panel. Those little tangs we have to grab. And uh, I can get this thing back on. Alright, it's kind of holding. Just gonna plug this light in. Take that pocket out, makes it easier. So, one screw, the thing's so much more solid. No movement, no squeak, solid. Yes! Easy fix. It's like a new truck, it's not. All right, now we gotta put, remember the long thing? Goes in that corner. Should've took some of those caps when I had a lot of these trucks available. Um, little body color clip goes over there. And you have the long screw. Long screw goes over here. And you gotta put the bezel piece on. Well, make sure your all your shit works too before you button it all up. We're gonna do that right now. Don't forget the door pocket and the screw. That's gonna even tighten up with this thing stripped out too. Another thing, these door panels have this little black piece that hangs down over here. I'm gonna worn all the way. Make sure that's even. Sometimes it'll be a little crooked when you put the door panel on. This thing is freaking solid though. Snapped on. These things always get loose when you take them off. I don't know why. One time used GM junk. But this screw over here is being the most troublesome. It came off fine, but now I put it back on. I need to use a universal. Which is strange. Sometimes you get a better shot. Oh, here it is. It straightens up now. 
straighten it up when it's down, but in the very end, it's very tricky. But it comes out, but it just won't go back in. Maybe it won't tighten up, maybe we stripped it. We'll see. We'll see. No, it's tightening. So, to recap, we addressed this issue. We do not have loose switches anymore because they're off the clips. We fixed the looseness that was with the door handle. Fixed the loose speaker grill. Um, the door lock rods. Much quieter. Let's see where it popped off track. But we didn't paint it. We will paint it if we ever have to take a window regulator and replace it. Oh, we glued that back on too. So it's not a little floppy over here now. Awesome. Nice fix for free.